And a short time ago, I spoke to Australia's envoy, Bob McMullen, straight off the plane from the Rangoon conference. Well, the United Nations and ASEAN have both, are both confident that they have got agreements from the authorities in uh, Burma to open themselves up to more aid workers and to an independent aid assessment so we can get on with the task of providing assistance to people in need. If that's been achieved, that's a big victory and we're supporting the UN and ASEAN in trying to achieve those goals. There is an if in front of that as uh, I hear you say that. Are you confident that the generals will live up to their word? Well, they don't have a great track record, but uh, the United Nations and ASEAN have put good structures in place, a uh, tripartite structure between the two of them and, uh, the, gov and the regime there that, will, uh, that gives us a good chance. It's the best chance we've had since Cyclone Nargis. There are a million people there who still haven't received any assistance, and we are keen to provide that assistance once we get an independent assessment and the capacity to, to deliver it effectively on the ground. So I believe it when it happens, but it is the best chance we've had. The UN and ASEAN have done a terrific job and we're just supporting them and we are hopeful and we will continue to press. Now, it's a matter of getting people in, but also getting funds in, uh, 10 to $11 billion uh, earmarked for this uh, project. But as I understand it, the generals would like to have that funds at their disposal for them to disperse. In what way are we going to ensure that this becomes truly accountable? Well, the a ASEAN, uh, the Secretary General of ASEAN, uh, Dr. Surin, has uh, set up a tripartite group that will give us the with the UN they will give us the accountability mechanisms and we'll be working with them to uh, make sure of course so far we're mainly putting our aid in through United Nations agencies and through international and Australian non-government organizations and we'll keep doing that but if we really have to scale up in the way that some people imagine we'll need more mechanisms and that's what uh, the United Nations and ASEAN are setting up just briefly, Mr. McMullen, do you get a genuine sense coming out of this conference that there's a, a real opportunity here for cooperation? It is the best opportunity we've had in the last three weeks. Uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations and the Secretary General of ASEAN have done a terrific job. If we can just keep the regime to their commitments, we'll be able to start delivering some really good assistance to people in great need. Bob McMullen, thank you for joining us. Thanks very much.